Hey guys, today we have a air purifier or air filter, whatever you want to call it. It's made by a company that's not really well known to a lot of us. Maybe some of you know, it's called Renfo. It's this one right here. And today I'm going to do some kind of maybe a weird test with it to see if it actually does a good job. This is one of those fancy, touchy, lighty, and all that good stuff here. Yes, it has a standby light for if you put it in your uh, bedroom. And I'm gonna test probably some, a few other uh, air filters on later on videos. But today, since lately we've seen all that stuff going on in New York and New Jersey and all other states, and unfortunately, something like this is quite needed. And I don't know how efficient or good they are, but I. I guess it's better than nothing. This one is comprised by a filter that's right here on the bottom of it. As you see, it's one of those three or four stage filters with carbon and all that good stuff. Here, the, there is a fan right here that uh, sucks the air from under and purifies it on the upper side. Let me put it back on where it was and let's go on with uh, turn it on and we're gonna see how much electricity does it even take to work and uh, for that we have this kilowatt right here let me plug it in it's set to uh kilowatts right now let me put it here but i don't know if you guys can see it but i'll have to show you myself okay now let me turn it on it starts on two which is the medium and yes there is a night light here let me turn off my studio lights so you guys can see it a little bit better and as you see let me turn the other one off too and i hope you guys can see the uh ambient light i guess you would call it for when you go to sleep and all that stuff and you can change it to all different uh styles you click it again gets brighter click it again goes lower then it goes to this kind of orange soft if you want to sleep with a light on i guess which there's nothing wrong with that and here it uh, there is another setting that turns it kind of in a heartbeat mode this one is off let me go to that heartbeat if i can find it yep it's this one right here it does that as a heartbeat mode i'm not sure what it means but it does it like that and okay and I'm not sure if you can hear that. Let me put my microphone near it so you can hear that beep. And that is the beep. So what we're going to do, we're going to test its ability to actually play with the air, which is the job that this one was created for. And before we jump to that, in here, you have a timer in which it stays on for a period of time then it turns off two hours four hours or eight hours this is to reset the filter if the filter has been uh, congested or blocked or whatever when it comes time to change the filter here's the speed you can increase it up to three and on three i'm not sure if you can hear the fan it gets a little bit louder but not really loud to bother you i would not call this one bothering and at one is right here this is the sleep it turns off the light and the speed of the fan goes automatically in low and you cannot hear it I can barely hear it and I'm right next to it. That's a really good thing to have. And here's the lock that you hold it, if I can hold it good. And right now all the functions are locked. As you see, nothing can be touched. You have to unlock it again. And now you can change everything here. Now let me do a very, very not the best test you've ever seen. Okay, but before we jump into that, let me show you what it takes on the electricity side of the things. Let me get this wire here so you guys can see it. I hope you can see the numbers right there. On low, with a normal light, it looks like it's around 18 to 20 watts, which is next to nothing. A medium, or number two, uh, 22 watts, I would call it, 20 to 22, which is still good. And on maximum, okay, on maximum, you were talking about 30 watts, which is next to nothing in reality. And that is really good, especially these filters stay on almost 24 seven most of the time. And it's a good thing to uh, be efficient. And by efficient, I mean, to not spend a lot of electricity now let me turn it off 
and start the very scientific test here on the side. I have a candle, uh, one of those tea candles, tiny thingies. I am going to light it up and see if the filter is good enough to actually do some kind of suction from the candle uh, fire and the uh, candle smoke. And this would be the best way to tell. As you see, there's a lot of smoke here. Okay, now the candle is going on. And let me turn on the fan. This is in one and the light is just tilting a little bit. Let me turn off this one here. Okay, let me put it on second. Oh yeah, I see the candle light actually shifting a lot towards the fan. And now let me put it on third. And I'm not sure if the camera is doing justice here but actually the candlelight is completely on the side and this is great because that's the whole purpose of these uh, air filters and air purifiers now let me put the candle on the other side if it's true 360 and yes as you see the flame is going towards the fan put the fan in this side put the flame here and yes it is going towards the fan again let me put the candle on the front side and let me put it here and as you see the candle light is pointing towards the uh, air filter and to me this is success now let's see if the light goes back on and as you saw there the candlelight straightened up back on the middle this is a great test and this one actually passed it now let me do a different test really quick since we are right here and yes there's some candle wax that fell on my finger but that's nothing that i'm not gonna heal from okay let me wipe the table here that it fell on so the second test is gonna be one of these and if you don't know, those are the torches, whatever you call that, that you use, uh, especially now in summertime, for mosquitoes and all that stuff when you sit outdoors. Let me turn it on. Okay, I know mosquitoes are not coming in here. And by the way, just to make it clear, I do not have any AC or other fans going on in this room at the moment. So at this moment, there is zero air going in or out, except for my hands moving the fire. And the fire is going pretty straight. Now let me turn it on. Let me put it at one only. Put it closer. And as you see, it tilts the fire just a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Let me go on two. And on two, the fire is quite a bit tilted towards the fan. That is a great sign, by the way. Really great sign. And there is no smoke at all now let me put it on three and on three as you see it's actually taking the whole thing towards it i can actually feel the flame here at my hand and i'm not sure if that's a good thing for the filter but it's worth because we are here to demonstrate if this works and it's working perfect let me turn it off and the flame slowly comes back and you see now the smoke comes up and you can see it on camera but while the fan was going on you said you saw no smoke let me put it back on and let's see what happens with the smoke and boom the smoke is gone again and here there's zero smell of the smoke by the way nope i don't smell anything here it's actually completely clean despite the here being a lot of smoke before i break this one because that's maybe a little bit too heavy and let me show you the side of the fan just to prove that it actually was sucking that smoke look at that it did the job i i Honestly, cannot say that I would not suggest it, especially if you need it. And if you're in one of those unfortunate areas, especially in, uh, in what I heard in Canada and uh, Northeast US, that you some of you guys are suffering from bad quality air, I think this one will do a really good job. And again, the name is Renpho, R-E-N-P-H-O. I am not sponsored by the company, nor do I know who they are, and they don't know who I am. I am just pointing out something that I found online on Amazon, and it would probably be there for you too. It's the best thing you can have for, especially for small rooms, and to leave it 24 seven on, on a corner somewhere, this will do the job just perfect. Now, the model number of this thing is, it says right here, yes, it's dirty, so uh, stay with me. Model number RP-AP088W. Let me put it near the camera if we can focus. That is right there. You can pause the video and take all that information if you wish so. This is the info for this air purifier. And it just works like a charm. In my opinion, it's worth it. Yes, 
in the coming days i might uh, take a review at another air filter that's quite significantly more expensive than this one and we'll see if it does any better than this one and with that said i hope you learned something from this video and we will see you next time bye